Watch Gary YouTube. It's your boy SMTD Drizzy here. And uh as you can see we're on Borderlands 3. And it's a specula it, you know it's a speculation Sunday video, because it's it's on Sunday. So I brought SMTD Fate with me. Yep. Cause hey guys. He's he's played more of the game than I have, as you can tell. But we just we're just gonna talk about the things that we liked, things things that we didn't like, you know. So do you want to start, Dylan, or, or do you want me to start? Uh, I'll go. Yes. Okay. Let's see, like, let you start. Let me start. Yeah, yeah. Let me start. Okay. So the one thing that I didn't that for it it kind of was like surprising to me at least because I didn't really play any of the previous Borderlands, but you cannot use shock weapons to take down HP. It just does not work. I swear to. Well, it's it's kind of always been like that. Has it really? Especially like at higher levels, yeah. Okay. So that's well, a normal like, thing. It just took me by surprise. Yeah. Because you know how usually, yeah, usually weapons, like, it's like usually whenever you're playing a game, it, it's just like, ineffective but it's not like basically null you know what i mean yeah kind of it, it gets more like that the further you get into the game okay especially like after you beat the game in the last one mm -hmm. if you try to use like a fire weapon take down a shield you were not getting to it so you just gotta really use the weapons effectively okay and then the other thing that the other thing is like it's a whole character in itself i just don't like i don't like gunner i don't like mozu i don't i just i don't like yeah. i don't like it as a character like it's no problem with I her abilities her like it's not a problem with her abilities yeah. i just don't i just don't i mean she's she's her viable kind of seems but yeah that's what her i'm saying kind of seems limited she kind of she, it kind of feels she like can't play by herself. She can't play by herself. Yeah. It seems like she'd be really good at the beginning, but then like not as good near the end. Now I I do Fuck. I can, the thing that I do like is that with the exception of how I feel about um Mo, uh, Mo's Mozu is pretty much every character is viable. I mean. Yeah, like every character has a yeah I, I think so. They did a really good job of doing that. I still haven't decided, like who's my favorite, but I, you know, it's between it's between Zane and Black, because we don't care about we don't yeah. care about Siren, unless it's this Siren. Sorry, that's the, that's the only Siren we care about. <clears throat> of course, of course. Uh, but uh, did you have anything specific you wanted to note on? Uh, did you? How much did you play of the last one? Uh, don't ask me a question like that. <laughs> no, I was just gonna ask how you think. I was gonna ask you how did you think it compared to the other games? Um, I played more of the first one. So you're kicking ass with the raid. Then compared to the first one, how mm. how does this one stack up against that one? See, I think, think this. I think good? this one. I think this one's. I would, I don't want to say significantly better than the first one because of like nostalgia, but if I had to go on a plain basis, I would say this one's like way better. Cuz like yeah, yeah. In the first one, I really couldn't I don't know, I just I just I didn't feel it. I didn't, I don't know. This one I can actually like play for a little while and not actually legitimately want to go to bed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Oh wait, another thing that I don't like: Tia door weapons. Oh, he's like. Um, those are the weapons that, when you reload, you can throw them. Not like they're bad or anything. I just don't like the throw mechanic. It's kind of weird. I know it's a thing though. It's like always been a thing. Is is the, the fact that you can throw those weapons? 
Um, let me check on him and see if I can. But, like, no, I've never really, I don't know, I never really liked them. I never really liked them. What? Theodore weapons. Theodore weapons? Yeah, never really liked them. No, they, yeah, they perfected my babies in this game, though. The Hyperion, the Hyperion weapons, they perfected my babies in this game. I, the, mm. We've all, like, like, we've, we've noticed that, like, the higher the rarity, we think at least, that the higher the rarity, the less of the, like, startup sway there is. Yeah. We're not really, like, too sure on it, but we're almost, like, pretty much sure that it's a thing. But, um, yeah, I love Hyperion weapons, and you like, uh, Jacobs, or Jacobus, Jacob. as I like to call it. I just feel like Jacobs, you get the most damage output, and there's not really much elemental stuff to it, so if the person has a shield, or they're resistant to something, you'll be still getting your most damage out, so. That is true. That is the problem with most of the other weapons that I rock with. Uh, and the one that I am using for recording, I'm not going to spoil too much for the recording, but like... To the, where the point where we're at, I basically had to like drop my whole loadout because it was all shock and I couldn't do anything to HP. And it was pretty, pretty annoying. Not wrong. I'm about to go down. But how I feel like this game stacks the other games, I honestly think you did a really good job. Because one thing Borderlands. Oh my! He's always Sweet good at was loot. Loot. But I feel like they, yeah, they've always had really good loot, and they've always made it to where it was pretty good to get loot. Pretty, Have, pretty did, easy. Did you get one of the what you call weapons yet? The orange ones. Oh my legendary. god! Isn't there like a wasn't there like a rarity above legendary orange or something? Yeah, there's a rarity above. It's like red or something. So how do those weapons play? I ain't, I have not. Um, do, you, do you have one? Kind of like in Borderlands 2, there's a Scion weapon. There's a Scion level. It's kind of mm -hmm. like after you beat the game level stuff. It's better than Legendary, but it's a lot harder to get. Okay. It's a lot harder to get. Do they have any like special features or anything? Like worth yeah, getting? Yeah, they got... I'm not too sure. I'd try to look up a list of them, but they... No one's really posted anything about it. Okay, so... It's like a, it's like a myth. I like it. I mean, you can, I, I mean, you can buy. I'm pretty sure you can buy some in the. Uh, uh crazy slots. Roll shop. Yeah, his his shop has them, After and the uh, game. slots also has them. It's yeah. super ridiculously hard to get them. Yeah, they're they're expensive and they're hard to get. Okay. I also feel like. You just get a crap ton of legendaries in this game, so you really don't ever have a loadout that doesn't have at least one. Like, this one yeah, right here they, has two, and that should be a purple, thing. but I actually sold it. That's one thing I don't really like about this one. You don't like it's how much, so much loot you get? To get legendaries. I don't like how, many, how easy it feels to get okay. legendaries, because they kind of just come from everywhere. Yeah. You're not wrong, like, you can get a legendary from basically anything. Yeah, and because in the last game, legendaries had like specific droppers. Mm -hmm. Everyone can drop any kind of legendary in this game. That's true. A couple. Unless they're specific, and, really and you'll like know, that. you'll know if they're specific if they have a little asterisk next to them. Yeah, I don't really like that because you can't. I'm use. I like to farm like bosses. If I want a specific legendary, I can't exactly do that now. Because it's just gonna drop from random people. That's true. So you just gotta farm people with high <gasps> drop percentages. Yeah, that that's that is a good point. I don't. I'm not too like in like into like. Well, I mean, I guess back when I used to play Warframe, I used to be like that. But I wasn't. I'm not like that anymore. So that was a good point because I definitely wasn't gonna hit on that. Um, let me think. What's another thing? 
Um, I don't like some of the skill trees. Like, I know what's yeah, the... but there's always gonna be some skill trees. That's true. That is true. Now I think about it, that is. I that feel is like there's a lot true. more health regeneration. Health regen. In this game than there has. A lot. Yeah, I feel like there's been a lot more of that in this game than any other one. Wait. I kind of feel. I thought that was kind of weird. Not like yeah. that way, I just thought it was kind of weird. Like, Flack, Flack is like a good example of that. He has a perk. Let me see if I can find it on the skill tree. Where he legitimately can transfer all of his healing all of his uh, health regen to his teammates. Yeah. I think it's under the... Was it in your tree? Green? Yeah, I think it's in my, the tree I used. Yeah. I guess you can find this, but... But just know it's an actual ability. So... Yeah. There it is. Yeah, it's in yours. I like share a portion of Flax total health regen. Oh, I didn't know it. I didn't know it uh, amplifies the the amount to pet. Yeah. But every single character, I believe, has health regen. Uh, I know Mazu does. I know Mazu does. You really solo some characters. So they, I guess they were trying to make it where make it to where everyone could be soloed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. Because last game, Zero was really hard to solo. Oh. Because he didn't have a health that, again. That, that would explain why I was having a hard time and wanted to quit that game. That would explain. This one, like, Adston had a crap ton. Siren. Okay. But doesn't. Siren always is, is like that. Yeah, Gunzark always has that, yeah. Or Siren, yeah. She does. Now, I can genuinely say that. I like all of the characters in the game. Their voices are just pitch perfect. Yeah, they really did a good job. With they did. They did an amazing job with the cast. Definitely, no, no question. It's not even a question. Dang, mm -hmm. I'm fucking so tall. <laughs> you feel like? I honestly feel like you level up really fast too, as I just leveled up. Yeah. You, you level up ridiculously fast, now I think about it. Like, you could... Like, if you didn't take mission XP, you didn't have mission XP, I still feel like you would level up ridiculously fast. Yeah, you're not wrong. That is another thing, that is a thing, though. They, they level, you level up really f You did the legendary hunt? Yeah. Nice. But yeah, no, you level up really fast. Um, the rocket launchers in this game are so ridiculous. Like this one, watch this one. Yeah. Y'all see that? Well, like, what? Some of, some of the legendary guns are kind of bad. Mm -hmm. Some. Mo most rocket launchers, <laughs> if not all of them, are bad. Alright, I'm just gonna say that now. <laughs> That's one thing they did not do good on the rock No. Launchers. No, they one didn't. One of them shoots saws, and they, it's so bad. They did not. Maybe the one you have. No, mine has a vortex grenade where it just pulls everyone together. This is like the only good one. If you look this one up on YouTube, it's the only one that's actually good. I will state that. Yeah, I have the one where the rockets shoot up in the air. It's so bad. Now, the pr my previous rocket launcher. Now, we can... We can go on somewhere about that one. That one was not good. <laughs> that one yeah, was not right. good at all. By the way, you think I love Flax Pets. Yeah, Dude, this is a tangent. This is a tangent, but back on to the, uh, what were we talking about? Sorry, I was looking at my The stack. legendary rocket launcher. The, the most, some of the legendary yeah. guns in general are pretty bad. Like, at, at least yeah. at first, I thought this revolver that I'm using right now was bad, but then I kind of got used to it. It really is, though. It's not good, because it shoots little, uh, little, uh, sticky nades. It's not, it's not bueno. Which one is it? The Duke? The, the Duke order? Uh, the Doc. Which one are you? Uh, I think. I don't know, it might be the Duke. It's one of that. It's something like that. 
But it's not yeah. bad, like in terms of damage. It's just got a weird mechanic to it. But yeah. at least it only shoots one bullet. <laughs> that's that's the only thing I really care about. Yeah. Like hey, the legendaries that shoot more than one bullet, they're not worth. They're not worth. Unless they do like 128 times two, like one of my rocket launchers did, that actually shot like regular rocket launchers, Re regular regular rockets. But that's the only one that I can genuinely say was worth. Like, I, I know I found a weapon that shoots, what, three bullets per, per, per pull of the trigger? Wow, that was hard English. But that was... There, there, I know I found one like that. I don't know if I found anything higher than that. I hope not. If I did, then I better not have it. But, um, things that they did do right. Now, I will say... I will say I'm very impressed with the revolvers because the revolvers are beautiful. Can we both agree on that? That, that the been, revolvers. I've been a fan since like the second one. Okay. They've always they've always hit. Now, I don't know I don't know how y'all I don't know how you feel about the ARs, but I love the ARs in this game. Oh yeah. The, <laughs> the only ones that I don't like are the ones with like sniper scopes, but. You know, I don't think anyone's gonna like this. And then, um, subs. Mm. Mm. Yes, please. Give me all the subs. That's, like, the main gun I... I normally don't... I normally use that more than I use my revolver, but I'm having fun with the revolver today. So I thought I would give it some time to shine. Did you see what I... Did you see the last level for the skag? It's absolutely no. Look, Iridium Skag. Right yeah, Iridium Skag. Oh dang, that, that looks cool. It does look cool. But all of, all of, Flack is probably the, the best character in the game. Like, in terms of, like... How much health for Jenny gets? In terms, not even in terms of, like, actually being a character, but in terms of his voice line, in terms of... Uh, oh yeah, I love basic, that Basically, like, everything that has from, to do with Flack. It's pretty funny. Dude, I, in I terms of everything name. to do with Flack, it's... He just does everything well. Like, he does he does nothing wrong, in my opinion. Yeah. His voice lines are great. Really his All of his skill trees are viable. Like, I don't think he has a bad skill tree. I mean, if you would say there's one, it would probably be the one that I'm going down, and it's really not that bad. This is probably the worst one that he has. Because the spider, it's all about just, you know, actually, let me go look. What's the spider yeah. one's all about? Is the spider one, now, all three of the, S all three of us have played Flag. The third one's not here because he didn't want to be in it. But this one's more about, like, his kill skills. Like, okay, so this one's more, no, this is the worst one. This is the one, this is the one where uh, it's, like, some of his perks have the ability to shoot an extra projectile and stuff. Oh yeah. But the the last ability for it is critical hits anywhere, which is that's OP. Now Zane, don't go down his clone tree. If you're gonna play Zane, please don't do clone. No offense, but I have played like a good seven or eight hours into Zane. Don't, don't do clone. It's not worth it. You better shield and drone. Only way. I swear, I promise you. Know, you. One thing I did dislike about this game, and it might be unpopular, but when someone else does something, like your friends, like he unlocks a challenge or something, it pops up on your screen. I don't need to know that. Oh, like, you're I, talking about when somebody else unlocks something? Yeah. Yeah, it's so annoying. That is pretty annoying. I can also agree. I'm gonna go get this, uh... Thing. Oh, and another thing is... is another thing is, is... Okay. So y'all gotta hear me out here. I'm a collectible hunter, okay? I like finding collectibles. And, every, and anyone 
that has seen me play this game knows that I will always find the collectibles. Please stop marking them. <laughs> I don't like that. Because then it takes away the whole aspect of trying to find... Like, I don't care if it's like... But I do like, like that they added them, though. Like, I think they should they, make it they, to where... They didn't really have anything like that. Yeah, I think they should make it to where, like, it's, it's a setting you could turn off. Like... Like you could leave it on if you're if you're not like me and will legitimately spend three hours of a, of a single recording looking for Typhon drops or trying to get a a beacon. Oh, you have fun with that, bud. But <laughs> yeah, no, you, you can keep that on on. But like, I don't know. I like that's what I like doing. And uh, what's the what's the other thing I want to talk about? Oh, you said that you said one time when we was playing they didn't have parkour. Or anything, right? What do you mean, hardcore? Parkour, parkour, like climbing, oh, scaling yeah. buildings. They added parkour to this one, and it's, and it's beautiful. The best thing ever. I didn't even notice that they didn't have parkour. <laughs> Not gonna yeah, lie. No, this is it's beautiful. Uh, I honestly forgot how to get this, so wait, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna skip this. And honestly, this is. I love all the customizations they have to this game. Trinkets, weapons. Oh, skin, the weapon skins, yes. Head, like different. Uh, you can change the color of the skins. Your character skins. Yeah. It's just. It, you know, character customization is like, a big plus for everybody. It's a big W, yeah, yeah. on, for everyone. Like, I don't think there's a person that actually legitimately plays video games that doesn't like character. Let me get this dick clutch up. Um, another thing to note on. Some of these Typhon drops, man. They gotta, like, let you know that they're in the mission barrier. Because I, I swear to I've spent... Like, I know, I know it's a big red door. Like, okay. Now, I'm sitting here spending three hours trying to figure out how to open the big red door. For someone to later tell me it's a part of a mission. <laughs> Don't put the Typhon drops behind mission doors. Don't like that. I don't. That's really the only thing I don't like. <laughs> That's really the only thing I don't. I don't really. I don't really have a problem. I mean, I guess this is because I've only played like maybe an hour into the second one and at max two or three in the in the first one. But, I don't know, maybe it's because of that, but I honestly don't have a problem with anything. Yeah, no, I, they, I think they did a really good job. Honestly, a lot better than their last game, the pre-sequel. Uh, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't Borderlands. <gasps> like, I think of Borderlands, that's not what I think of. Bruh. No, no. To be fair, it was made by a different branch of the company, so I'll, what, I'll give them. I'll give them. Was this one? Wait. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I forgot who it was. Team. But it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Good. It wasn't Borderlands. <laughs> it wasn't second good. Like second one. So nah, second was a good one. Right yeah, the second one was a solid ten. That mm, one, okay. I think, maybe. Uh, an eight, seven or eight. Okay, okay. What would you give this game? I was just about to ask you that. You um, well, because I hadn't played much of the second one, I'm gonna have to give it a ten because I don't see no flaws. There's nothing big that stands out to me that makes me want to like not play it. Like you get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, there's. There's nothing that dire that may, just made me like, no, I'm not playing it. I mean, I have 50 hours in this game for crying out loud. I mean, <laughs> it's a, it's a okay. great game. See, I don't know. That one map, what was the map? The moon map's Typhon drops. What was it? Eden six? Not Eden six. You know which map I'm talking about. Yeah, that one was a little bit. Okay. 
Not the. Do you need help? Not the map itself. Yeah, I got knocked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but not the not the map itself. I don't remember the name of, it, but it was the moon one. The map it, the map itself is beautiful. But the typhon drops on that map, I gave up on them, and that's saying something. <laughs> so that map was the only one that made me want to stop. I had to stop playing for a little bit. This is my first day back on in what two weeks? A week? I think maybe two weeks. It might be two weeks, but that was only because I was frustrated that I couldn't get the Typhon drop. That's Captain Tron. Really? Here. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, did you see that? I had to fight by myself the last time. Yo! Did y'all see that? It said, dude, I said that's Tron, and then the thing popped up in the corner. So that's Tron. That's cool. Tron. Hey, last time we did this, this is good, because last time we did this, I wasn't there, yeah. so I'm honestly still not there. I was standing right here in this corner looking at the, looking at this. Uh, so we got a problem. Oh. Mm hmm? I'm out of ammo for every gun. <laughs> <laughs> we. Well, looks like I'm soloing. So one dislike I have is I don't have ammo right now. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. I just got here. Alright, well. <laughs> well. Well, we're running that back. Jeez. So, I would give this game. Okay. Um, I, I would give it a 10, you know. It it exceeds my expectations, and I have high expectations. I was about to say those are pretty big. Yeah, the my only problem is the loot, is the not having specific legendary loot drops for people. Okay. But I mean, that you can always just farm someone that has a high loot drop, but it's not that big of a deal. Bro, my rockets do like absolutely nothing to the shield. I didn't mean to shoot those. But, uh, I honestly don't see anything wrong with the game. Yeah, no, there's not really much wrong with the game. Are you serious? <laughs> that I die. Except for us, we keep dying. <laughs> we, we're pretty bad, but the game isn't. Now, Where Dylan, are you, Dylan? If you had to note on how much you, how much money you lost to New Year's, <laughs> how much would that be? Let's go ahead and cut to the cut the outro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've lost at least I've lost at least a hundred thousand. At least. And I'm not even. I'm not even. The K like, on the. Are you talking yeah. about game currency? Yeah. Oh. Like I've lost a hundred K on a death. That's. I like I, all I'm gonna say is is like, I I mean, I'm not even that far into the game. Like I think we just got to even six. I believe. Yeah. Or we just we just did we just I don't know. That's the farthest no. of any of my saves are. And I swear I've lost at least 100k. And I've lost about 900k to freaking slots. Oh, the slot? Oh, yeah, no, I've lost probably at least a mil. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not talking about we're not talking about the times where you get slots, right? And you get stuff back. No, we're talking about solely the drops that don't give you anything. That's what we're talking not about. Even a not even the grenade that kills you. <laughs> yeah, for real. Dude, we spent, I think on all four of our saves, or four of my saves, I think I've spent, like, the first three planets just going back and buying the slots. With the exception of this save. I got all three of my weapons out of slots for this save. All three of them. But... 
Um, anything else you want to note on before we, you know, cut to the outro? I don't think so. I just want to say good job to the creators of Borderlands. They did, they made a really good game. And honestly, if you haven't tried Borderlands out, I highly suggest it. It's a really good game. Bro, this is what, bro, what? She's not pulling this up right now. Okay. Sirens are OP. But... But, with that being said, like the video if you enjoy, subscribe and join the spam squad today, and I'm out. Peace out!